Hi everyone, so I just wanted to introduce myself if you're watching this for the first time. My name is Marianne Hanson. I'm the counsellor at Marianne Hanson Counselling Service. So as you're aware, I'm probably outdoors so that I can give you different locations and backgrounds. And that may mean that there's a bit of noise. If it becomes too noisy when I watch the video back, then I may delete and redo it again. So I work with individuals and couples. I specialize in the areas of depression, stress, anxiety, low self-esteem and relationships. And this video, I want to talk about why it's time to leave your abusive relationship. So I've got some background in working with women who have struggled with domestic violence. I've worked for a domestic violence charity. I've also worked with a few perpetrators over the year as well, um, over the years um, around domestic violence. So these are five reasons that it's time to just make that decision and leave your domestic violence relationship. The first reason, and this is probably the most important one, is that you are at serious risk of being killed or seriously hurt. Now the difficulty is there are lots of factors of why people don't leave their abusive relationships. This isn't a judgment or a criticism. There are also safety issues and I have made videos talking about leaving a relationship safely. However, the outweighing risk is that you have a likelihood of being killed by your partner. People might think, well, you know, the, the abuse hasn't escalated the physical um, or, you know, he's only verbal at the moment or you know, they've only thrown things at me, but they've never tried to hurt me properly. But you have to understand that the whole idea of someone being abusive towards their partner means that it can escalate at any time. And that risk is real and it's genuine. And there are numbers of people that are being killed. So that's one reason. The second reason is because you deserve a loving relationship or an opportunity to just enjoy being single. You know, why should anyone be born and then feel that they have to be mistreated you know, so if you think of it in that way, then isn't that enough of a reason? I think sometimes people give themselves enough reasons to stay, but they don't give themselves enough reasons to leave. So to me, it's really important if I'm in a relationship that it is enhancing my life in some way that we are working together as a team. You know, and you have to tell yourself sometimes and remind yourself that you des deserve a loving relationship, that there are loving relationships out there, or if you're not ready to um, be in a relationship, that you deserve to be happily single. The third reason is because you've tried everything to improve the situations but there's no change. You know, there's a lot of women that I speak to over the years and men who have been in abusive relationships where they keep saying, well, if only I do this or if only I do that or maybe it's because of this or maybe it's that reason. You, if you've tried everything, you know, you've been to couples counselling, you've tried different techniques and nothing has worked, then isn't it time to maybe reconsider that maybe the problem isn't that you've tried everything, it's just that this person isn't ready to change. The fourth thing is if you have children, you owe it to yourself and to them to give yourselves a better life than to be in a situation where you are living in fear. Many children I've worked with as a counsellor but also um, as a social worker previously where they've been witnessed, they've witnessed domestic violence, even if they haven't been in the room when it's been happening, they've been upstairs and they've heard the signs, you know, they've tried to cover it up with music and stuff. It can have a long lasting impact on their relationships when they become adults. So you owe it to not only your children, but also to yourself. Why should people be living in an environment that is full of fear where people are walking on eggshells? And the fifth reason is because it's not impossible to leave as I've said, with safety and with pl safety planning and with support, it can be done. Yes, it takes a lot of preparation. Yes, it is a dangerous time when at the point where you say to your partner that you're going to leave. But I think lots of times people will put in comments that I've seen on Facebook and YouTube. Why is everyone saying to this person to leave? You know, it's, it's um, dangerous. We know that it's dangerous. We know that it's not easy. But these are more important reasons, I think that you at least attempt to leave because of the fact that you owe it to yourself, but also the risk of getting killed is the biggest um, de denominator. So there are organizations out there that can help. If you're living in the UK, there is Women's Aid. There's Birmingham and Solihull Women's Aid, which is local, but also there's the National Domestic Violence Helpline, which is national. Any country in the world or most countries have their own local um, helplines and also their um, national helplines. Those are the people you can reach out to and they will do a safety plan for you. So if you are also someone that is wanting to refer to a client to me or you would like counselling yourself, the best page to, contact, um, to find my information is my Facebook page, Marianne Hanson Counselling Service, which has all of my details on there where you can contact me 
or you can leave me a message on here and I will get back to you. Don't forget to share this video if you feel that it will benefit others and thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.